Hi. Um, now I should imagine you've got a lot of questions. Firstly, uh, where are you? This probably looks like an alien ship, and that's because it is an alien ship. Oh, uh, don't worry, you're absolutely safe. Where do I start? So, um, I don't really have an easy way of explaining this, but, uh, we have, um, an associate, an ally, a friend, who is, uh, uh, like a, a lizard warrior if you like. Very brave and uh, very strong. Um, but when they're not in the lizard warrior state, they shrink down into a, a very small lizard size and uh, look like a very small lizard. When they're in this state, um, they are uh, much more shy and, you know, calmer and uh, timid um, and uh, they can be frightened. Now, I know this, I know this all sounds very strange, but remember, you know, you are on an alien spaceship and, uh, well, please try and keep an open mind. <laughs> so, um, Something has spooked uh, our friend, and uh, they have um, hidden themselves in one of your pockets. Yes, I know, it sounds absolutely ridiculous, I know. Um, uh, they, oh no, they're no harm at all, no harm. Um, they're just very scared, and um, well, we need to help them uh, to come out. But, uh, unfortunately, uh, they're currently invisible. Um, it's a way of protecting themselves. Uh, we're not entirely sure why they've hidden in your pocket. Um, now, if I just start to go through your pockets, uh, I could injure our friend. And so I don't want to do that, obviously. Um, so I have a different technique. What I'm going to do is, and again this probably sounds very strange, um, there are certain weapons that this uh, lizard warrior uses when uh, he's in his warrior form. And um, uh, the sound of tapping on these weapons will uh, make him feel more relaxed. It's like a uh, nostalgia reminds him of home, you know, reminds him of his brave estate when he's in warrior mode. And um, uh, I think that will calm him down and then he'll come out of whichever pocket he's hiding in. And uh, he'll then, uh, well, he'll be in a kind of hypnotized state and I'll catch him in a special metal tin Yes, I know you couldn't make it up, could you? Yes, but as I say, uh, it, the truth is strange as a fiction, and you are on an alien spaceship. Now, <clears throat> the first weapon, uh, all of these weapons, are they're kind of like blades. You know, they're like um, well, alien blades. So, the first one is this one. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently tap this for a short while and hopefully it will start to uh, calm our little friend down so you just completely relax and I do apologize about this and thank you so much for uh, your cooperation.
I do it very gently so that he isn't shocked and he can just feel very relaxed and calm. This is very important that he feels calm and relaxed. And it's very important that you feel relaxed as well and that you feel calm. Because he will sense your calmness and it will help him to feel much more relaxed. You see, we must get him in a hypnotic state of calmness and relaxation. We must allow him to hear these sounds and feel calmer and calmer and calmer. Well, that was the first weapon, so I think that would have probably helped to begin to relax him. How long have I known him for? Well, quite a number of years, actually. Uh, how did we meet? <laughs> that is a funny story. You see, uh, our friend, he, he comes from a star system very far away from here. He's a couple of thousand years old as well, and um, he was on a ship, and the ship was attacked. And he managed to fire himself out of the ship in an escape pod. And he landed on a meteorite that was just floating through space. Anyway, he knew that he wouldn't survive. So he transferred his consciousness into this algae which was on the meteorite. It had uh, just enough of a biological makeup to sustain his fundamental consciousness and uh, there he sat for a oh, hundred years. Frozen really, but he was alive. Anyway, um, we were out uh, escorting a mining vessel and we stumbled across this meteorite. We took the raw materials that we needed, of course, and um, we noticed this algae and so we took it in the lab to uh, inspect it. Um, what was very strange is it began to move and it actually formed a, um, a sentence. It said, bring me a small reptile. Now, I'm sure you can imagine this was a shock to us. I've seen some crazy things, believe me. But this was the first, I tell you. So, they went and got a, a small lizard. I think it was just the easiest thing they could find and uh, they just placed it next to the algae. Of course, this was in a controlled environment. Um, what happened next was incredible. The algae sort of went over the lizard 
I sort of covered it. And then uh, the lizard changed, became different, behavior was different, uh, mo movement was different. Um, and, uh, and then it was just kind of stare staring at us, almost as if it knew what we were and what we were doing, as if it had become intelligent. Um, it then proceeded to draw or write rather in the remaining algae with its uh, well, claw and it said I am an advanced alien from another planet please allow me to get out of here so I can you know, transform and talk to you I, I, I know how this sounds but in my line of work, uh, this kind of strange thing, not exactly like this, but strange things happen all the time, so you do become used to it. Um, anyway, uh, so we uh, cautiously allowed him to enter the room. We weren't in this room, but um, he was in a tank, and so we let him out of the tank, and now he's in an isolated room, still sealed off, uh, still secure. Um, and um, yes, uh, he then transformed into what I would describe as a humanoid lizard and was fluent in English. Just another day. <laughs> and we developed a good friendship. But um, yes, in, in the lizard form, they are very timid. Um, and uh, they can be very shy. Uh, quite a contrast, actually, to what they're like in uh, the warrior form. But uh, it is. So, um, anyway, shall we try another weapon? As you hear this, it's important that you feel relaxed as well. Because the more relaxed you feel, the calmer our friend will feel. And the calmer our friend feels, the sooner he'll show himself to us. Because we all like to feel calm. We all like to feel alive. It's important to feel calm and it's important to feel relaxed. My friend, if you can hear me, I want you to know that you are safe and that you can come out of wherever it is you are hiding. All is well. You are amongst friends, and you can relax. As you hear the tapping sound on your beloved weapon, your well-known weapon that makes you feel at home. You feel relaxed and you no longer feel the need to hide anymore.
you are calm. You are safe. And you are relaxed. There is one more weapon that we will use and then after that we will use the tin. By that point I think he will be feeling very relaxed and in a hypnotic state he will leave your pocket, whichever pocket he's in, and he will enter the tin where I can safely remove him and uh, then you will be returned home. Okay, so this is the third weapon and this happens to be his favorite so I should imagine this will help us a lot in making him feel relaxed and at home oh yes he's a very brave warrior you wouldn't think it in lizard form but when he's in warrior mode really is a sight to be seen. And it's important that he feels relaxed. And it's important that he feels calm. And it's important that you feel relaxed. And the more that you hear my voice and the more you'll hear this tapping sound, the more relaxed you feel. Because you are relaxed. And you are calm. You love the feeling of relaxation and calmness. You can feel the peace washing over you. As you feel calmer and calmer. And the calmer you feel, the calmer our friend will feel. the importance of calmness. You realize the importance of relaxation. And now I think we're ready for our friend to come out and into this tin, this special tin. I know it sounds a bit strange. It honestly, it just looks like a normal tin, but it is something he likes, so he's likely to climb into it. And as we tap this tin, we remind you of comfort and safety. We remind you of places that you feel at peace, of friendship and of home.
And you love to feel relaxed. And you love to feel at home. In a moment you will show yourself to us and you will crawl out of whichever pocket you're in and you will crawl into this tin because you are relaxed Yourself becoming more and more relaxed. And now I'm going to place the tin with the lid off in front of our guest. And I want you to climb out of whichever pocket you're in. And I want you to jump into the tin. When you're ready. That's right. Jump into the tin. There we go. Very good. Oh, I just... That's right. Take it easy. There we are. <laughs> Bless him. See, he's completely harmless. And... I should imagine he's feeling much better now. It's, it's quite sweet, really. Yeah. Uh, not in warrior mode, I can tell you. Uh, yeah. You're glad he's a friend. <laughs> well, I'm glad that's gone well. Thank goodness for that. Oh, it's quite a relief. <laughs> well. I want to thank you very much for your cooperation. And uh, I want you to know that we're very grateful. If you ever need help, perhaps look to the stars and you never know. You may find it. Goodbye.